Hi guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on nail stamp art using some pretty inexpensive products. So first I want to use Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. I believe it's only three or four dollars. You can buy it at Walmart. And I do this to protect the natural nail because sometimes it can get discolored when you use nail polish colors. So you, I'm going to do this on both my ring fingers. And then I'm going to choose this a bright pink color from Walmart. It's a pure ice brand. I believe it is about $1.97. And sometimes you have to put on two coats just to make sure that it comes out even and looking nice. And I will admit sometimes I get out of the line as you can see there. And when you're done you can just get a q-tip dipped in some acetone or some nail polish remover. And that will clean up the edges just to make sure it looks really nice. I'm going to use this lime green color also pure ice for $1.97. And again I'm going to use two coats just to make sure I get a clean even coat. And again I went out of the line again but that's no big deal. So I'm going to let this dry for about a minute just to make sure that it's not too goopy and then I'm going to use Sally Hansen Insta Dry which I believe is about $4 from Walmart and this will just ensure that it's completely dry before you do the stamp art because you don't want to do stamp art when it's even a little bit um, still wet because otherwise it will smear and it will just be a big old mess. So I'm going to use a black color, same brand, $1.97. And I'm going to use my mash plates which come in all different, um, all different uh, designs which is wonderful and this is compared to the Conad brand which is more expensive which is about six dollars a plate mash you can get a set of 25 for about twenty dollars on Amazon I'm going to choose this peacock that I'm going to put on both of my ring fingers and I use a stamp a stamper which has a small end and a big end and I, it's a uh, I believe it's Conad brand as well as the scraper but you can use any brand both of them should work just fine you're going to put a, a light coat on top of the design that you want. You don't want to put too much on it. You're going to need a cotton ball with some acetone on it just to wipe it off in between each, um, in between each stamp. So again, you put a small little coat, not too much. You don't want it to be too goopy, otherwise it'll be a big mess. Then you'll take your scraper and you'll scrape off that first layer. Once you're done with that, you're going to take your stamper and you're going to roll it over pushing pretty hard just to make sure the design stays on the stamper. As you can see the peacock image is right there on the stamper. Then you position it on the place that you want your nail. You're pushing, pushing pretty hard. You want to roll it over in the direction opposite of where you started. Sometimes you have to push it down just to make sure it stays. And as you can see the peacock showed up very nicely. And again I'm going to do it on my other finger. Again you roll it and the peacock image has come up again. Now, I let this dry for maybe another minute, and then I'm going to choose to put on an Insta-Dry coat on top just to protect it, to make sure it lasts longer than normal. And I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great day.